फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टुडे आई एम हियर विथ अ टेक्निकल वीडियो दिस इज आवर साइट एंड वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट फ्लोर पीटी वर्क दैट इज पोस्ट टेंशन स्लैब सो आई जस्ट वांट टू शो यू द स्टार्ट टू एंड प्रोसेस ऑफ पीटी स्लैब नाउ मोस्टली वी फिनिश विद द फॉर्म वर्क सो आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फॉर्म वर्क नाउ वी विल गो टू साइट बिफोर दैट जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर सेफ बिफोर एंटरिंग टू एनी साइट so just to follow the basic pt that is the safety helmet hand gloves reflective jacket safety shoes and what uh, whatever your safety officer uh, told you to use just to wear them and make sure that you are safe in this project we are using caplock system for form work in caplock system fully galvanized steel sections are using for uh, supporting and uh, Molding of wet concrete. The main parts of couplock system is adjustable base jack, ledgers, standards, adjustable U jack, primary beam, secondary beam, and plywood. This base jack is used as a base or foot of couplock system. This is base plate, wing nut, and hollow threaded pile foot. we can even adjust the height of standard in base jack by rotating this wing nuts each pitch is 5 mm up and down the general sizes of base base jack is 650 mm and 750 mm after placing base jack we will put standard on the base jack and the standard will be socketed minimum of 150 mm we will fix the wing wing nut before installing or we can adjust after installing also next one is standards standards are the vertical components with the fixed cups and movable top cup the cup can hold four ledgers together with a single blow of hammer The outer diameter is 50 mm and the thickness is 3 mm approximately. We can find the different sizes of standards. Here we are using 2 meter, 2.5 meter and 3 meter. Spigot pins are using to uh, connect it to standards together. Standards are transferring the vertical loads from uh, slab to earth. Next one is ledger. Ledger is a uh, horizontal component, and uh, this will connect it to standard and make them rigid. As per BS code, two point five percentage of vertical load is uh, carried by these ledgers. The diameter and thickness and all are same as standards. And these ledgers have different in size. We here we are using 1.6, 1.8, and 1.2. These forged steel uh, blades are placing in this cup and making these standards rigid. Uh, mechanism of U head is same as T jack. The only difference is this U head, and here we have base plates. This U head is used to hold the primary beams. So after installing standards, we will put this U jack on top of standards. After installing U head, we will make sure that all the uh, U head level is same hmm. or in same alignment. So this is the main parts of couplock system. Now I will show you how to connect them together. Uh, I will try my 
best because this and all are heavy. Uh, now let's start. So this is tea jack. We will uh, adjust it. We will take these dimensions from drawing. Based on that, we will adjust the wingnut before installation itself. After adjusting wingnuts, we will put standard on top of this. we will place base jack after that standards the third part is placing ledgers we will place ledgers like this then we will use this movable cup to lock them like this we can use four ledgers in this same cup and we can make them rigid like this. After placing ledgers, we will put this U head on top of this standards. So before installation itself, we will adjust this wing head. Then we will place this one inside this standards. After that, we will put primary beam here. Then secondary beam on top of that, after that play wood. So this is the method of connecting different parts of cup lock together. Now we will see how to erect them inside. Before that I will show you the drawings that we are using or we will get from these cup folding contractors. Now I will show you a reference drawing. The formwork drawing will be given by the formwork contractor. They will make the drawing based on design. First we need to give them the PT drawing. Based on that they will design and make the drawing. One more important thing is based on the contractor there may be small changes in the names of couple of parts. Normally we have three different drawings. Framing plan, primary beam plan secondary beam plan along with this they will give the design calculations also first we will go to framing plan in this framing plan we have the general informations of different parts of cup lock. The basic design considerations, legends used in these drawings, and an isometric view. And here we can see few applications and advantages of this system. we will go to framing plan from framing plan we can find the locations of standards the x and y dimensions from one standard to another the sizes of ledgers the x and y dimension from column to standard in few columns, we can see the column bracketings. And here we have a isometric view of column bracketing. This column bracketing is used to get stability for this formwork.
Now we have few sectional drawings here. From this sectional drawing, we can find the height and size of standards, ledgers, and threaded heights of jacks. Generally, the threaded height of U jack and base jack will be same. If the threaded heights are not mentioned in drawing means we can find them by manual calculation. For that, we need to minus the height of standards, primary beam, secondary beam, plywood and slab thickness from floor to floor height. So we will get one height. That height we will divide into two and that will be the threaded height of U jack and base jack. Like that, from this section we can find how many layers of ledgers need to be erected. And here we can see the column raisings. This column raisings will give stability to standards. GI tube and shear couplers are using to give these bracings. So from this framing plan we will get the sizes and dimensions of different parts of couplock system. Now we will go to primary beam plan. In this primary beam plan, we can see different colored lines. These lines are indicating different sizes of beams. So, different sizes, different size beams are mentioned by using different colors. the sizes of each color they are mentioned in legends. From this drawing we will get the alignment and spacing of primary beam. Same like this we have secondary beam layout also. From this drawing, we can find the orientation and spacing of secondary beam. In addition to this, we will place the secondary beam in plywood joints also. In this section, we can see how to give formwork support in beam areas. So, after installation of or after erection of secondary beam, we will lay plywood on top of secondary beam. Then we will install stoppens after that handrails so this is about formwork drawing now we will go to site and see how to erect them in site from drawing we find the dimensions and the alignments of this system now we will take any column now i am taking this column you can take any structure as a reference. So I am starting from this column. Now I will take this as a reference structure. From this, the X and Y dimension I will mark and fix the first standard here. After placing this first standard, we will use these ledgers to make this widget and we will place these four standards and make this as a grid. In the same way, we will do in X direction and Y direction. After that, we will repeat this in this full area. To align this in a line, we 
वी विल यूज लाइन डूरी सो आफ्टर मेकिंग दिस ग्रिड वी विल पुट यू जैक एंड लेवल दम आफ्टर दैट वी विल पुट प्राइमरी बीम देन सेकेंडरी बीम आफ्टर दैट प्ले वुड इन सम केसेस लाइक दिस केसेस हियर यू कैन सी द प्राइमरी बीम इज नॉट टचिंग द कॉलम और नॉट अप टू द कॉलम इन दैट केसेस वी विल यूज हाइट वुड एंड टी जैक फॉर सपोर्ट लाइक दिस केसेस वी हैव ए वॉल हियर सो वी कैन प्लेस द standard here in this case we used a cantilever bracket for support uh, the main advantage of this cantilever bracket is we can save the use of standard ledges and uh, base jacks this so, of uh, multi story buildings by using this cantilever beams we can save the time and the materials like that if any slab projection is there in that cases also we will use cantilever brackets for support in that area and all we placed this homework on top of grade slab we need a proper base for this homework in some cases we have undulated surface like this those cases we will use like this wooden planks or metal planks for leveling this surface here you can uh, see we used a uh, column bracket in this mainly we will use uh, to prevent the tilting or overturning of this homework bracketing locations are as per design the designer will tell where to place this column bracketing here for these isolated beams we used the same system for support and uh, instead of secondary beam we used the white wood also This is our ramp area, and here for ramp support we are using conventional system for form work. In some cases we use the conventional system because we didn't find this different size standards. In some areas we use the adjustable T jack also for supporting this ramp. This is the finished top portion of our homework. This this is the uh, marine plan. You can see the surface is uh, leveled. So we need a clear leveled surface for concreting. In this project, we have same level only. So before casting the slab, we have to make sure that the level is same. Now we have concrete stoppers here, and we have one working platform. with the handrail it's not finished yet so in this video uh, we discussed about erection of uh, cup lock system in my next video i will come with pt slab we can see in our next video bye bye